this video is going to be my skincare routine because I've actually never filmed one before I don't think and it may, I get told a lot that it's like oh my god you have perfect skin and all this stuff which is a hundred percent false it might look like that because ca the camera doesn't really pick up that a lot or my Instagram pictures because of the filters and, and stuff like that but I am a normal teenage girl I pretty much have normal acne get it a lot more and I get it in like the normal areas like on my chin and I get it I've been getting it on my forehead recently which is weird because I should never get it on my forehead and then I obviously have like the pores on my nose I am a normal girl I have normal acne I'm not flawless skin I swear so that's why I decided to do this video because I've actually been using stuff that has been working great lately and has cleared up my skin a ton to where like I basically don't really have any anymore. Um, but obviously when it's like around my period it does come back because you know how that works ladies so nothing can ever cure that. Um, but yeah so it definitely works a ton. A ton. A ton. I This is this stuff has worked so great for me so I definitely recommend after this video you guys go try all these products I'm not even kidding other people talk about these on here too so I'm not the only one that have seen very good results from these things so I hope you guys enjoyed this skincare routine and let's just get started so first of all I am very into natural products I do not buy clean and clear proactive any of that stuff because it is chemicals and it doesn't work moral of the story it might say it works it's a placebo it might work for like 10% of the world, but I 100% do not agree that any of that stuff works. It's just my personal opinion. Hate on me all I want. I just, I don't think any of that stuff works. My opinion. Um, the number one thing that I have been using for the longest time, courtesy of my mom, because she's into like natural stuff as well, that's why I am. This stuff. Holy grail, what I'm about to tell you. Um, you can buy it at grocery stores. It's tea tree oil. If you look up, like, how to get rid of acne? it probably will say tea tree oil this stuff it doesn't smell that bad I'm very prone to it now I think it smells really good now but it is very potent and it works wonders you put it on your problem areas if it's very bad and it'll be gone in like two days and it's natural obviously it's literally tea tree oil and another great thing I don't have the bottle of because one I think it smells disgusting in the bottles or the glass bottles really heavy but um, apple cider vinegar is pretty much the same thing it does the same effect as this next two holy grail things which I've just recently figure or found from I don't know whenever I just started the lush hole and frenzy came up um, I decided to try herbalism because of reviews on their website and then I've also tried mask of magnum and tea. these are I'm not even kidding probably my fourth or fifth um, container of both of them I have gone through these so they're my holy grail these are my holy grail actual products and I um so mask of magnum minty is a mask it is it has peppermint kyolin and aducai beans the aducai beans are like the little beans obviously in it that you will feel and when it dries they come off your face basically you can feel it working like you can feel it working you can feel the little sting of the peppermint in it and it will just make your skin so clear I, I don't even know how to explain how great this is yeah I love it so much you have to try it it just it clears your skin that's all I can say it doesn't do anything else besides that it just makes your skin so clear and so smooth and I love it I've seen results from it I never do both of these together it's definitely like a, I do either or um, but I do mask of magnum and tea mostly um, but I also herbalism I feel like works the best um I have been using this way longer than Mask of Magnum and Tea. I am obsessed. This is also new because I've just, I always stock up on them, so I just grab the newest ones I have. It is just like a loaf of green crap that I've heard someone in the store, they're like, ew, that smells so bad, don't buy it. But it's like, girl, if it smells bad, it probably works. Um, it does smell a little weird. But this one's more of like a, just like a, a cleanser. Face, It's for face and body. I believe this is too. Yes, they're both face and body. This one is the best. Um, it's just so natural and it has such good things in it and it, it just clears your skin like that. Like, oh my gosh, it works so well. You have to try it. Um, it has so many good things in it. It has Kyle and I don't know if I'm saying that right. That's also in this. Um, the, bi the biggest thing I think is the rice vinegar extract. I think that's what makes it smell bad. But it has a bunch of good oils in it. It has ground almonds. Um, then this is kind of like my spot treatment and I... I kind of stopped using this um, 
because I realized that it's basically this and I'd rather not pay for this and just get tea tree oil um, but this is called grease lightning and it's a tea tree cleanser so you know teach their own um i use both of these it just depends this one's like a gel and i it like dries and i just leave it on so i feel like it probably works a little bit differently because it kind of dries out the acne but they both kind of have the same results my skin can get very dry and i don't like using uh moisturizers because i haven't found one that doesn't irritate my skin um i've tried like cetaphil and all this kind of stuff like jergens i don't know what else but i know cetaphil a lot of people say it works but i don't know i just feel like it makes me have acne because of the consistency um so what i do to keep my skin nourished and soft is i use the mofis movis facial soap from lush um this one is a relatively new one. I've only used it once, but I this is like my second piece. It's supposed to look like bread, and it kind of smells like bread. It has, I can't remember what it has in it, honestly. Um, it just has, like, I think wheat, oh, probably that's why it looks like bread. Um, but it has wheat and all this good nourishing stuff in your in it that just makes your skin feel so, like, milky, kind of. Obviously, like, not it goes away but it just feels so good on your skin and it leaves my skin really soft and nourished so that's what I use for just because my skin has harsh products sometimes that I use um, for when it's really bad and it doesn't like make acne or anything so it's not making it any worse which I love and it just revives your skin if you're wondering what makeup remover I've used these are the only ones that I feel like work like I sometimes I have to use more than one um, just to make sure I completely have all my makeup off. But I feel like these, um, I only need to use one for my face. And then I also, uh, I feel like, or I don't feel like it, like, has, like, stuff in it that makes, I have very sensitive skin, so I have to really make sure, like, products don't break me out or anything. So I just use the Neutrogena, uh, Makeup Remover Cleansing Tellus. I actually have finally, not recently, because it's empty, but I finally tried Bioderma. Do you remember 2012 when this stuff was like the rave product and everyone was obsessed with it so I finally gave it a go because I know you have to order it like online and it's thirty dollars for this thing but I, I would I wouldn't say you need this in your life but I do use it because it gets like I'll use this and I'll be like oh great all my makeup's off and then I'll go with the cotton pad and go with this all around my face and like my mascara and it's like I'm taking my makeup off for a second time like you, all of this stuff that's like in your pores just comes out with this so Bioderma is basically just a fancy form of water but the stuff in it this is not in English because of where I got it I can't really tell you what's in it but I promise you it is worth $30 and it's not just water even though a lot of people are just like it's just fancy water but I've used water to clean off my face and it does not do the same thing the last skincare product I'm gonna show you guys in this video is just something that I like to use for my body I actually do use it on my face sometimes um I don't know if you're supposed to, I mean, I'm sure you can, but, um, I don't think it has, I mean, yeah, it does, like, clarify, get all the dead skin off and all that kind of stuff, but it is just Frank Bod Scrub, Frank Body Scrub, I did not get this sent to me, I bought it with my own money, because I was simply curious, it's very dirty, you could, like, keep it in my shower, um, and I just use this to, like, just get rid of all the dead skin, it makes your skin smooth, I, I was, I was, like, in shock, because honestly, I never really heard of people, all they do is promote it, because they get a center for, for free, but, like, I've never, um, heard people say, like, what it kind of does, like, feels like whenever you take it off, I felt like, a baby's butt that just got covered in baby oil that is how soft I felt I felt like I had new skin and it just it feels so good and after you shave your legs if you put this on over and it, you're supposed to leave it for like five to ten minutes on and you put this over your shaped legs oh my god it feels amazing and this isn't very expensive at all it's $15 but this whole bag is filled up um, and I'm like halfway done now. I've used, I've had this for like a month, two months, and I'm only halfway done. And I use it three times a week, basically. But another thing it is really great at is if you have oily or combination skin, it gets rid of, or not gets rid of, but it just removes your excess oils. It doesn't like get rid of the oils you need, but it removes the excess of it. So that's why I really like it for my face because I do, I have combination-ish, it depends on the season, um, it's more oily, um, so I definitely, that is another thing it is really great for, but I just recommend this, it's not that expensive, honestly, so I definitely recommend you guys getting this product, um, I love it so much, that 
that is all I have to show you guys for this skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any products that are all natural and really good, um, I definitely recommend um, you guys commenting that because I'd love to know. Um, and yeah, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out all my links like my Instagram, my Twitter, uh, and all that kind of stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.